This is Lobelian Public Radio. I'm John Swazinger. And now, the LPR Bulletin. Officials from the Central Agency of Education and Paranormal Research announced today that they have successfully reanimated United States President Ronald Reagan. At news time, Caper is still reportedly unsure why they have done this. Zombie Reagan was unavailable for comment. Economists were thrown into a frenzy this week at the news that the major pharmaceutical company, right up in their limited, was recalling all units of its new product, a large bucket of radioactive mice, citing concerns that the medicine was having, quote, unintended effects on its users. While the mice were creating the intended incredibly dangerous and potentially cancerous animal bites, users also frequently reported headaches, external bleeding, and loss of intestines. The Central Agency for Food, Medicine, and Biological Weapons Standards has advised consumers to cease use of the product immediately and use the alternative, cheaper, single Tupperware container of kinda glowy guinea pigs. Novelist Andrea Atkins was awarded the Award for Excellence in Being Really, Really Great, I Mean Wow, at the congratulatory awards ceremony on Thursday. When asked why this was the first time in the award's 100-year history to be given to a female writer, a spokesperson for the Academy of Feeling Really Good About Yourself stated, quote, I know, right? We're doing a really great thing here. So revolutionary. In entertainment news, film star Lance Capaldi attempted to deflect rumors that he was seeking rehabilitation for a habit of controlled substance abuse, often committed in his cheap, dingy Riverton apartment with a broken front door latch, three green sofas, a television and a dining table in joint living dining area, a refrigerator and stove in the kitchen along with several packages of month-old cheddar cheese, a bedroom with a locked door which could not be opened, and a bathroom with a mirror, sink, toothbrush, toothpaste, and bathtub containing a school of exotic and illegal rain whiner bass. LPR would like to remind its listeners not to question how we know the contents of Mr. Capaldi's apartment, only stating that, quote, We see all, we know all. You will be judged, and the day of reckoning is at hand. Coming up next is the LPR Smooth Jazz and Pagan Rituals Hour. For the LPR Bulletin, I'm John Swazinger.